welcome. Thank you for joining us. Please subscribe to my channel to get more content from me. Today's video is the 12th video of the Interpretating Calm Lyrics series. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is a series where I tell you guys my interpretations of the lyrics of Fast and the Summer's new album, Calm. If you didn't see the first 11 videos where I talked about the first 11 tracks on the album, make sure you go to my channel and check those out. Today, we're moving on to track 12, which is high. Before I get started, I just want to remind everyone that this is completely 100% my opinion. Don't know if it's correct, you're more than welcome to have your own. This is just mine. High is such a beautiful song, and honestly, it's my absolute favorite song off the album. To me, it's about someone who got out of a relationship and they're thinking of their ex. Maybe they still love their ex even though their ex has moved on. And they're trying to change for the better. Maybe they even want their ex back but they know it's not going to happen. And even though they're not together, they want their ex to think of them highly and not badly. I reached out to Five Songs of Summer Fan at not in the same AFI on Twitter. And this is her interpretation of High. Hi is an amazing song to end off this album. It has all the boxes checked, amazing vocals from the one and only Luke Hemmings, beautiful backings from both Michael and Callum, and last but not least, a beat that keeps you pulled in by Ashton. This song has a feeling like it was written from a place of healing. How I interpret the song is as follows. The writer of the song fell in, but the break that followed was a hard one. One side of the relationship moved on, after the breakup and obviously confided in their friends, hence the chorus, while the other side held on to a memory of this relationship. The side that moved on, we will call them A, has been told by friends and family that they no longer need the other side of this relationship in this walkthrough B. They are moving on to other things, maybe a new relationship, and this could have snowballed into B feeling this way. It's the age old way of checking up on your ex and seeing that they aren't hurting like you and want and wanting to know what you did wrong. B, however, is feeling the hurt of the break. They're sleeping around, partying, just trying to get A off of their mind, but their efforts are futile because all they desire is to have a lasting bond with someone again. This person is feeling so much hurt and regret and they just want to let A know that they are sorry. This song feels almost like a letter from B to A, trying to tell them that they aren't who they were when the couple split. A must have had higher expect expectations for B and wanted more from them or more of them in a figurative or literal sense. Whether the song is from the perspective of the heartbreaker or break E, there is power and emotion behind each word. The slow and emotional ballad was a perfect way to close out the album. It shows us as fans that the boys trust us with this sensitive and vulnerable side of them as artists. Couldn't have said it better myself. So there you have it, the 12th video of the Interpreting Calm Lyrics series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below what is your interpretation of high. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow.